This week, we've loaded up the Hilux and the Surtees and ventured to the Karikari Peninsula in the winterless north. Our base for the trip would be the Reef Lodge Motel, which is situated directly on Rangiputa Beach in the Rangaunu Harbour. Northland has some amazing scenery, and from a fisheries perspective, the far north has it all. Clean harbours with an abundance of fish life, to the coast and blue water, which at times is absolutely teeming with fish. It's an example of how a lot of New Zealand would have been before overfishing took place. Being winter time, the weather isn't always accommodating, and we're right in the middle of a severe weather warning. Although the wind would be up and the rain would be coming, the swell was still under a metre, so by sticking close to home, we would still be able to sample a small piece of the Far North's fantastic offerings. Welcome to the Far North. You excited to be here, Mick? Pumped to be here, man. Yeah. Um, we've never fished this Far North before, and it's a bloody awesome spot. Indeed it is. We've got an average weather forecast coming over, but uh, we've got the coast and we've got the harbours if we have to, so we're going to hopefully get into, what, a bit of everything? Yeah, mate, a bit of everything, but before we get too carried away, we're straight into the Radio Harity Challenge. And, and Consequence. consequence. The challenge is to see who can win the blindfolded race to cast their line into the sea, and the consequence is a triple whammy of wax strips, paintball gunshots, and a wasabi mouthful. All right, mate. Running the gauntlet. Running the gauntlet. Can you see? Oh, I can't see a thing, mate. Good. Can you see? No. Oh, that's good. Yeah. All right. Anyway, <laughs> we better get into it, eh? Yep. So the uh, run the gauntlet. If we both get to the end at the same time, then uh, whoever's got the best cast wins. If we both cast at the same time, so. We'll see what happens. It's going to be interesting. Very <laughs> <laughs> good. Go good? Let's go. All right, let's go. Three, two, one. Go. <laughs> 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 this is not good. Ah! Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! You kicked me in the face. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 Okay. Oh! Ah! 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 Ow! 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 It's a lead rig. Damn it. Sausage. All right. <laughs> Have I cast it? Have I won? All right, I was already out. Oh. I was already out. What? I was already out. What did you cast? It take 10 minutes to pick it up and you run. I don't know. The big one. Uh, big one. Do you win, Mike? Oh, yes. Woohoo! Where's my cast? Don't cast that way! <laughs> oh man, I cast it that way. Land around in my hand. Where'd you cast? On the drink, I guess. So where'd I cast? Into the water. Yes! Oh. <laughs> well animal. done, Mick. The far north has plenty of launching options, but the majority of them are beach ramps, so a bit of a scout around is required to ensure you won't get stuck. We launched the Surtees at Rangiputa Beach, which you'll need a four-wheel drive for, as it's mainly sand. The sun was out, and it was looking like maybe the weather forecasters had got it wrong. It was tempting to have a fish in the harbour itself, but after a chat to the locals, we made the call to head out for a bit of a look around the bay and explore this awesome piece of coastline. All right, so we just shot out in the bay. It's pretty filthy conditions, but some wicked signs showing up, stacking up on the sand here. Uh, the rain rain's showing us that we've got big schools of what we're hoping is snapper stacking up. Um, just out on 20 metres on the sand, so we are going to probably flick a few soft baits around here, I think. We'll just have a bit of a prospect, um, see what they are, and hopefully they're snapper. Hopefully we can get some lunchies on board. Maybe some big boys, wait and see. Ready there, Scott? Yeah, yeah me. get it out. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. Hell, take the weight on the drop. 
All right. Ah, I like that good sign you spotted, Scotty boy. Yep, good eye of the rain, Marine. So as you can see, the conditions are pretty average, as we thought. But uh, yeah, spot that little bit of sign and out over the sand, not too far from our launching grounds, and I've picked up what feels like a pretty nice snapper on the first cast. So I'm stoked with that. Although it is pretty sloppy, you, you can actually get away with chucking the sand current and having a bit of a drift. Um, you know, you could anchor up and bait and burly in this and be quite comfortable, but we're going to cover a little bit of ground this way, so drifting is a good way to prospect in the area, and so far, so good. Listening. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. That. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean, that's pretty bloody good, considering we only just got out here. And we had one cast, and we've got one fish. It's not a bad start. It's a good way to start. I'm going to hang down there until I catch one. I want those odds too. Go Northland. <laughs> that's my soft bait rig there. It's just a little bit damaged where that hook goes through, but you can sometimes just reposition the hook like I've done there. And that's sitting nice and true. So he's letting these softies sink down, casting them up in front of us where we're drifting. And as they're descending, the hit snapper are coming up and hitting them. Yep. Yep. Another cast, another fish. We've actually heard from the locals that they're getting a few fish out on the sand, so hence why when we spotted that sign, we stopped, because you can't beat local, or recent local knowledge. And uh, the old mate at the Reef Lodge, they were out here the other day, and they were getting a few, a few nice snaps, up to 10 pounds, so. Not the Northland monsters that we'd like to get at some oh, point, but. Yeah, man. Just nice, solid fish, eh? Yeah. Really good winter condition. Stacking on the condition for the winter. It already is winter. Beauty snaps. Back in the drink. Yep. Yeah, good fish. Could just be a little snap, but no, it's got the weight, more weight and fast head nod, so. Beautiful. Oh, is he gonna start fighting? Well, we've got a Trevor on here. Or Gernard, maybe. Nope. Gurnard! 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 Yep. So it doesn't feel like a massive fish, but a bit of weight there. We had fight actually out of this thing. Maybe a gurnard. We're in the far north, could be anything. They're breeding big in the far north, so. What's that? They're breeding big, could be a nice big gurns. Oh, it's a bluey! Blue cod. Far out, yeah. Get out a of it. Big one, Holy too. Holy crap! <laughs> it's a beast! <laughs> Look at that for the far north. Yeah. Oh, far yeah. North, you think we're in the, in the far south? Far out, that's a good catch. Oh. Yes. Someone behind the camera's happy with that one. <laughs> Angle J Rock. <laughs> yeah, he likes a bluey, but who doesn't? Oh man, that's going straight in the bin. A oh, fantastic. See so, yeah, the old blue cods, the suckers for lures, soft bait, slow jigs, anything. Come up and have that crack at that squid skirt there. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Hey. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, there's a big snapper there. Snapper, snapper. Snapper, snapper. We're in the far north, fishing during a severe weather warning out from Rangiputa. Mick won the blindfolded gauntlet challenge and a soft baiting session rewarded us with a few nice snapper, a big gurnard and a big blue cod. With the wind increasing, we've anchored up at the mouth of the harbour for a bit of a bait and burley session. Second baits, or first baits of the straight line spot, first one got picked at and the second one's been grabbed by something with a bit of weight. So, the rain's coming as it said it would be. Yep. Both we're all right, eh? Trying conditions, but she's all good, man. Oh, yeah. Doesn't matter if the fish are biting. It's dead right. He's not a monster, but it's just a good, good solid snapper for the first, first fish of the spot. Yeah, it's good. Use the first fish of the spot to small one, so. Yeah, exactly. Gotta get something that's uh, got a little bit of weight. That'll bode well for the rest of our session then, Mick. Here he is, yes. Yeah, digging in there, snaps. Nice snapper. Well, it's a nice fish, man. You want the net? No, I'll lift him in, mate. It's a, it's a nice fish. He's a good eat. Oh, yeah. Hey, <laughs> beautiful. All right. 
That's good. Good start, mate. Good start yeah. to the spot. Oh, well, we're doing what we can with the conditions that are on offer. That's right. And the conditions are pretty crap, let's be honest. Oh, terrible conditions, but as long as you can get out there, as long as you, you know, remain within your safety limits, get out there and get amongst these things while they're on offer. We'll persevere with this for a bit longer and hopefully pull out a few more of these guys and bigger. It's a small one for Northland standards, but I'm not complaining. I was just complaining because my bait got harassed by pickers, but that's often the sure sign that a big one's going to come and smash it. Because the pickers will have a go at it, then the big one's going to come along and say, oh, that's mine, bang, and he hit it. I mean, he's not a monster, but it's the heaviest fish I've had on all day, so that's pretty cool. I'm a whole big half hooker squid. Some top cats there, squids that they have for half hooker, but they actually work quite well for big snapper. So here he comes. Need the net? Um, I've got a 60 pound tray, so he's pretty green. Nah, here you are, I might as well lift him in. Oh, yeah. I'll lift him in. Oh. Corner of the mouth. Yeah, look at that. Me. Whew, choice. We're still doing it tough, but that makes it worth it. Even if it's not a monster, that's a bloody good fish. Yep. Hit him, Mick. Oh, I'll let this one go, and you can see what Mick's got. Oh, I'll just be a carway, probably. That's all right, mate. is still a good eating fish. Oh, it's pulling string, mate. Yeah, it's pulling string. Yeah. I'll probably slip over, but it's all good. Oh. Oh, nice. Oh, she's yeah, not a good. bad fish. He's, huh? He's good, bloody good. He's only just hooked the corner of his mouth. He's probably gonna, probably gonna drop off. Actually. Yeah. Oh, no, I'll get him. I'll get him. Lift him in, dog. Oh, it's big. Woohoo! In the rain. Loving the squids, they are. They are at the moment. Getting big old squids that size. Quick demo how I rig the squid up. Got my snail hooked recurves there. I'm oh, sorry, my snail rig recurve hooks there. And go one through the top of that mantle piece up there. Mantle piece. It's not above a fireplace, but it's called the mantle. And here we go. Midway down, or just down to that second hook. Six there nicely and exposed. We're casting it out the back and these snappers are coming and smashing it. A snapper that size will quite happily swallow a whole squid like that, so. Man, these fish can dig deep. We're just dragging them up because it's a little bit of foul down there. Oh, he's a nice one. Oh, he's a nice one, mate. <laughs> he's a nice one. Ned? Nah, I'll lift him in, mate. Oh, uh, yeah. Nonchalant. You're yeah, rough. Oh, big recurve. I them recommend out. netting these fish, people, oh. not don't do what we do. <laughs> Yeah. I was thinking he wasn't even that big, but he's a good one. He's a goodie, man. He's a bloody cracker. He's three and a, he's three and a half, three. Yeah, three and a half kilos. Oh, he's three kilos. Nice he's fish. a good fish. Just mowed him up. Ah. The old revenger dealt to him. Today for your top catch tip, we're talking about the importance of looking after your catch. That's right. The main reason we go out fishing is to catch a feed, and you want to keep that fish in the best condition possible. We use the premium ice box from Mammoth. These are available from Top Catch. And we also get our salt ice from Top Catch. Now, salt ice is important as it lasts a lot longer than regular ice and keeps that catch nice and cool. So distribute that ice evenly across all those premium eating fish. So get yourself a good ice bin and look after that kaimoana. Yep, on, on. <laughs> oh, yeah, double hook up. It's wind, rain and action in the far north, and MIG won the blindfolded, mousetrap gauntlet casting challenge. We managed a few premium eating fish on soft baits, jigs and stray line baits out from the Rangaudu harbour. With the current changing and the wind increasing even more, the call was made to head back into land to go for a wander over the hills and finish off the day with a bit of land-based action. Does it look like the spot, MIG? This looks like a pretty mean spot to me. Yep. The wind's still a bit up, but uh, we're slightly out of it here. Got it's... a bit of burly in the water. Gonna fire at some baits and let's see what we can get. Let's see what we can get. What do you got there, belly hoo? Yeah, man. Pretty excited to be off the bricks, actually. Definitely. Snapper. No, he dropped it. Oh. Oh, that's a big, big snapper snap. there. That's a big snap. That's what just had it. Oh. That's just what had it. That's just what had my bait. There's a nice snapper just sitting down there. It'd be about a bit, uh, like a 40 centimetres. It's two yeah. of them. They're just sitting under the rock, Mick. I reckon a little bait will get them, eh? The style of fishing that we're doing is we're actually casting these baits unweighted because the snapper aren't holding in any particular area. They're cruising around these rocks and these 
little reefy uh, areas. So what we're doing is we're just casting out our baits just into different zones. We've got the burley working. There's also snapper. We've caught them just under here as well. I've seen them just under the ledge that we're standing on. So providing the shadows aren't going, the shadows aren't being cast. Oh, yeah, straight away. Yeah, oh, a lot of car wide back there, so. Oh, I've got a carway on here. Giving me the run around, but Bring we'll get him in, we'll keep, keep because alive, mate. this is a perfect ledge for a livey. Oh. So, that there is a nice carway. Nice size carway to chuck out for a big kingy. Yeah, I'm on. Oh, Scotty's on as well. What do you got, Scotty? Oh, could be a snap, this one. Oh, it's a snapper. Oh, it's a nice one. It's a goodie. Is it a snap? Yes, yeah, it's a snapper. Man. <laughs> it could be our lunchy, I think. It could be our lunchy. Woohoo! Oh, that's a nice snap for the, for the surf casting spot. Well, land based spot. Oh, yeah. Bring him in. Yeah, boy. <laughs> mean snapper. Mean. Awesome. That's, what, our first snapper for the spot. Yeah. So It's not a bad way to start. Sick. When you're land basing off the bricks like we are here, we've got a decent drop off. Um, a good bit of burley's always handy. When we first showed up to the spot, there were about 20 snapper and probably about 15 of them were legal, all hanging around that burley. Now, they've pushed out a little bit wider because they've been here for a little while, but um, that's where we're picking them up, a little bit wider now. But push pumping that burley is working a treat, and it's just bring those fish on the chew. Um, so I can't stress it enough. When you're coming up on the bricks, bring some burley with you, flow it out, you'll have a good session. What do you got, Mick? Oh. Still got him? Yeah, it's not a bad. I think it's a snapper, is it? Is it? Yes, yeah, a snapper. Oh, yeah, snap. Get him in, get him Ooh, in. Ooh, yeah. Bring him over here. Oh, blue. Yeah, there we go. Hey. Oh, nice snapper. So another good one for off the bricks. Yeah. Look at the colours of the mo. So dark. Oh, I love a it. Bit eh? around the kelp. And it's bloody good when you can uh, walk over the hills and hook into a few of these chaps. Hell yeah, it's a nice snapper, mate. And a bit of squid, obviously. But he hit that pretty much as it hit the surface. This is the baits I'm using. This is a whole pilchard from Top Catch. I'm just going to rip the tail off. It just exposes that, all those guts straight away. So hopefully the big snapper will see that and go, yep. Come up and hit it before the car will do. <laughs> She's all good. I love the old look down cast that you do. It's good, eh? Yeah, I'll do the mid cast, ready? Yeah. <laughs> it's all about technique and posture. Oh, actually, this is a stick bait rod. But it works, it doubles up very nicely as a land based, well, you know, this sort of land based um, rod with the, our boat reel there. So it's really, really good. Got that bit of extra length, eh? Yeah, length and plenty of grunt so you can, you get, can, those, tell, you can tell the difference. Get those heads around. Yeah, I've got, yeah. I got a bit more length than Mick. Oh, come on now. <laughs> Talk to me, Mick. I don't know what it is yet. It's a snapper. What is it? Yep. I'll give you a hand. Is it a big one? Nah, it's Norm. Hey? Just a snapper, mate. Oh. Oh, he's digging in, though. Oh, nice snaps. Whee! Oh, he's, he's another benchy. Yeah. In the corner of the mouth. Hey, oh, nice. beautiful, man. It's, it's a few that size, but they've all been that just... Oh. Nice what? winter dark snaps. Yeah, two and a half kilo. Oh, Only beautiful. Know. There's loads of car wire down there, so we'll try and show you them hitting the baits, because it's pretty, pretty cool. Just hitting them right on the surface, so... Boom. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. And, yeah, didn't hook that one that time, but it's pretty awesome. Here they all go bang, again. Bang, 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 You got them this time, Mick, let them run. Ah, oh, spit it out. They do that, eh? We can see that because of the Dirty Dog polarised sunglasses, and you guys can see it because the cameraman's got a polarised filter on his lens. Makes it easy to see, otherwise you wouldn't be able to see that. Yep, that's right. And it's important to be able to see those fish that are Responding to the burley trail, we've seen some nice snapper and some kawai, uh, more eels and all sorts. So um, being able to look through these makes it all the better. Way more enjoyable. Well, yet one's just grabbed my bait. Is it? Yeah, I can see it, yep. Get, get it, boy. Oh, get it out of the bricks. Ah, oh, get come him on. on. Oh, hard drag on this bugger. Oh, come on, he's just under here. Oh, yeah, here he comes. Oh, nice, it's a snizzlaps, it's a snizzlaps. Yeah, oh, there's another one down there too, Scotty. I'm getting a run, I'm getting a run. Oh, yeah, I can see it on your bait. Is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's just on your bait. 
Oh, come on. Yep, on, on. <laughs> oh, yeah, double hook up. Yeah, come back. Oh, give him in there, Scotty. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. That's a nice one. That's a good couple two, of fish. Two cowpie buggers. Oh, man, our, oh. Spot's, our spot's getting uh, taken over by the tide, but a lot of snapper just showed up. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Oh, we're just about to pack up the go as well. Yeah, that's right. Unfortunately, we have to leave. The sun's ah, going down. Damn. But, oh, it's been an awesome little brick session. Indeed. What should we do? Let these guys go? Yeah, may as well, eh? We've got those other ones with for our lunches, so they're yeah. all good. Chuck them straight in here. Yeah, this one's going back. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> Underwater cameraman may have got it. Yeah, you're one going, Mick. Off he goes. That was a pretty cool mission off the bricks, eh, Mick? Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, yeah we got yeah, a few nice it. fish. That was a good bit of fun. Yeah. Bit of change of scene for us, but anyway. Speaking yeah. of change of scene, the sun's fading and uh, the tide's coming in. So what, eh? On to the next mission. On to the next mission. Let's oh. do it. I still got my line out. <laughs> <laughs> Wilmot Motors supply us with the Toyota Hilux to tow our built-to-fish Surtees boat, which is powered by the economical and reliable Honda outboard and fitted out with Raymarine Electronics for finding the fish. We proudly use the latest gear from Okuma, which we get from Top Catch, along with bait, tackle and advice. For more information, pick up the latest copy of NZ Bay Fisher magazine and follow us on Facebook, Fishing and Adventure TV.